Today, we're peeling back the curtain on a period in Hollywood history shrouded in secrecy and fear, the Blacklist. For those who might be new to the topic, the Blacklist was a dark chapter in the 1940s and 50s. During this McCarthyist era, actors, screenwriters, directors, and anyone even suspected of having communist ties were effectively banned from working in Hollywood. It wasn't a formal list, but the consequences of being unofficially blacklisted were devastating. Careers crumbled, dreams were shattered, and lives were uprooted all due to the fear of communism. Let's meet some of the most famous people who got caught in this anti-communist dragnet. These are just a handful of the talented individuals whose voices were silenced and whose stories deserve to be remembered. 1. Charlie Chaplin, the tramp who couldn't come home. We start with a giant of the silver screen, the man who brought silent film comedy to its peak, Charlie Chaplin. Chaplin, the genius behind The Kid and City Lights, wasn't just a hilarious performer, he was also a sharp social commentator. His films often poked fun at societal issues like poverty and wealth disparity. This, however, didn't sit well with some in Hollywood, particularly as the Cold War heated up. Despite never officially being a communist, Chaplin's political views and social commentary in his films raised eyebrows. After a trip to Europe in 1952, his re-entry permit to the United States was revoked, effectively forcing him into exile. Chaplin, the man who embodied the American dream on screen, was deemed a threat and ostracized by the very country he had helped entertain for decades. 2. Lena Horne, a voice silenced for speaking out. Next, we turn to the legendary singer and actress, Lena Horne. Horne was a powerful voice for civil rights and a true Hollywood icon. Her undeniable talent and captivating presence on screen were undeniable. However, her activism and association with blacklisted singer Paul Robeson made her a target. Studios refused to cast her, stifling a career that could have been even more phenomenal. Horn's story highlights the intersection of two forms of blacklisting in Hollywood, the one against suspected communists and the one against those who dared to speak out for racial equality. 3. Orson Welles, the boy wonder who wouldn't play ball. Now, we shift gears to a directorial titan, Orson Welles. This young prodigy, who revolutionized cinema with his debut film Citizen Kane, became a Hollywood outcast after refusing to cooperate with WAC, the House Un-American Activities Committee. Though not a communist himself, Wells' outspoken nature and past leftist leanings made him a suspect. His defiance of WAC ultimately led to a decline in his Hollywood career, forcing him to find work in Europe. The blacklist robbed audiences of the chance to witness more cinematic brilliance from this innovative director. 4. Dalton Trumbo, the ghostwriter who wouldn't be silenced. From directors to writers, the blacklist impacted all aspects of Hollywood. Dalton Trumbo, a brilliant screenwriter known for films like Roman Holiday and Exodus, became one of the most famous faces of the blacklist. He was one of the Hollywood Ten, a group of screenwriters who refused to testify before WAC. Trumbo, along with others on the list, defied the blacklist by writing under pseudonyms. He even won Academy Awards for Roman Holiday and The Brave One, which he couldn't claim due to the blacklist. Trumbo's story is a testament to the resilience of artistic spirit in the face of adversity. 5. Arthur Miller, Death of a Salesman and the Death of Artistic Freedom The blacklist wasn't just about actors and screenwriters. Playwright Arthur Miller, the man behind the legendary Death of a Salesman, also faced the consequences of defying whack. Miller refused to name names before the committee, although he himself wasn't a communist. While his career wasn't completely destroyed, the experience undoubtedly cast a shadow. The blacklist sent a chilling message to anyone in the entertainment industry, dissent wouldn't be tolerated. The Hollywood blacklist is a dark chapter in history, but it's one we must remember. By learning about the past, we can help ensure that such a chilling suppression of artistic freedom never happens again. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on the blacklist. Have you seen any films or plays created by blacklisted artists? How do you think the blacklist impacted Hollywood and American culture? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more behind-the-scenes Hollywood stories.